What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see, we got my guy, Byron, here. Byron, how's everything with you, man? It's going good, man. It's going good. We had basketball this morning. A little banged up. <laughs> a little banged up. <laughs> banged up. Hey, listen, like, it, he, he played well, though, ladies and gentlemen. He played well. He hustled. Um, he was moving them puppies on the defensive end too. I can't lie to you. Like it was a good, it was a good team effort. It was a good team effort. We played about three games, you know, two and one. Uh, we got Ryan and them boys out there. You know, Ryan and Derek lost. They took, they took an L. You know, it's okay though. Nah, they played good too. We got to, I want, I, I, we got to get all new together and just really have a, a solid little five on five game session. Um, I got to hand out a couple more L's. You know, we got to, got to dish out a couple more L's. But, um, all right. And I'm surprised you actually talking this bad about Dak because last year you said Dak was gonna be was a better leader than Aaron Rodgers, right? I'm from the outside looking in, but I do believe Dak is a better leader than Aaron Rodgers, and, and ultimately Jerry Jones isn't on the field playing. So I think yeah, but he does person, control. He does control who hits the field, though. He does. He does. He uh, he uh, does control who hits it, but there's so mm-hmm. many injuries. They have so many opportunities. To become okay. successful, I I, yeah. I I would say the winner is definitely the Cowboys in regards okay. to the potential development. Just because Aaron Rodgers is on the field, and you know this guy doesn't trust you, so you got him probably speaking underneath his breath, body language, things like that. You know, kind of what you see, and it kind of just probably just uh, deteriorates their relationship. If I had to guess, you know, just playing receiver, right. you know, if you play with a quarterback who you don't trust, or vice versa. You may not run your route as hard. You may not, you know, kind of see what they see because it's all the right. timing thing. You know, playing right. receiver and playing quarterback is all the timing thing. You know, that's why they say uh, they say uh, Joe Montana and uh, Jerry Rice could throw passes in the uh, passes up in the dark. I don't know how true that is, but they said that their connection was that great that they can go out to a pitch back field and connect and you know connect. And I think that's the biggest thing. Is it's, 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 it's all about connection. It's right. all about connection yeah. and relationships, and I think Aaron Rodgers struggles on that. So that's why I have to lean with the Cowboys. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I will give you this. As crappy as the Cowboys have been, I'm not, this is not a shot at the Cowboys. Trust me, people. Y'all had talent. You just haven't made the best out of it. He is a nice guy from what it looks like. Like, he's personable. People like him. So I'll give you that. Aaron Rodgers has not had that success from the liking standpoint. I'll right. give you that. I got it on video. What's up? <laughs> you know, that same way? Listen. This, yeah, just because he, I, I, I do think he's a good leader. I do think I stand by that. I think he's a good leader. Okay. I just think maybe that this cowboy situation is not for him. I don't think he's a bad quarterback. Aaron Rodgers is by far a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. In, okay. in, in regards to leadership, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is bad in his old line since his day on a new team, okay. right? So, like at the end of the day, you just got there. It's, it's just like it's just like. You you do like you just got there. You ain't been there that long. Why are you bashing the offensive line? Why don't you talk to them on the side like, hey, and we're gonna be successful, yada yada. Why are you sitting in front of a news conference bashing your O line? That's not gonna get it done, right? And he was bashing his wide receivers last year with, with, with Green Bay, the young guys. We just talked about Watson the um the other day, who was ranked what fifteenth, something like that. At the end of the day, you got to give these guys some time to kind of get their feet underneath their wheels, right? You didn't come in starting. Brett Favre was a starter for three years, and then you came in. So, and I, I think Rodgers needs to take a little bite of humble pie, just a little bit. And that's why I think, for me, I don't think he's a great leader. He's a great player, but I think he needs to understand is that even with the amount of success that you have, you got to be teachable and coachable. You got to be teachable and coachable. Yeah, I, I just want to. I just want to come to a conclusion real quick. Um, Byron, you said that the NFC was trash. Just to clarify, like you, you said, as a whole, as a unit, as an organization, the NFC was trash. Is that right? Like, is that is that is that was that right earlier? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. I did it. Aggressive. Absolutely. If I would, if I were to have the top ten teams in the NFL right now, and I did this last week. Only two of them are NFC teams. What two teams that two. Nazi is that? 49ers and who? Eagles. And the Eagles. Yep. There's, on, there's only two teams that I would even consider. And I think, because I was looking at NFL Network or ESPN's rankings, the power mm-hmm. rankings, I don't know why the Cowboys are fifth or sixth. That is, the, that is crazy talk. 
Well, I mean, talent wise, they talent wise, they 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 up there now. I, I don't I don't think you can be too disrespectful about that. Yeah, um, but yeah, but ever, talent wise, but if you if you look at and this is no order, give me Kansas City, give me Philly, give me San Francisco, give me Cincinnati, you give me uh, you give me Baltimore, you give me the, the Chargers, you give me the uh, I, I, yeah, um, I see. Yeah, I, I mean, you give me. It's just, it's just too many, and I can keep going with the AFC, with the AFC. Like, you give me all these teams. If you look at the AFC East that we talked about the other day, they got three teams who can win that division, like who who could arguably go to the AFC Championship. Give me the AFC, give me the AFC uh, North, right? AFC, I mean, um, AFC East. You got even even the Patriots who are supposed to be the worst team I, I, I'm in that stop division. I, I'm, I'm going to stop you right there, Byron. Now you're talking about, now, you, now we're being disrespectful, respectfully. Like I can't put the Patriots over too many teams like that. I would not. Take no, no, Patriots. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they're the bottom well, tier of that division. They're the bottom tier of that division, and I still don't think that they'll be that bad. It's that, stout. That's the, yeah. But that's that, my point. That's stout. You got Miami. You got the Jets, and you got and you got Buffalo. You see what I'm saying? But those are three teams. So I can name three teams from the AFC East, three teams from the AFC North, three teams from the AFC West. I, I can name the Broncos, who I think would be good, the Chargers, and Kansas City. That's nine teams who I believe. Yeah, but that ain't, than, this ain't typical, though. Normally, it's like you get yeah, Cowboys, Eagles. You got Packers in there. Vikings are made a push. Yeah. Although you might say bottom of the pack. Um, one of the teams from the South might make a noise. I might make some noise, but typically it's been like the Saints. Um, and then like the Seahawks. 49ers, Rams, they just been having like a, a, a little lull, if you will. Um, well, not not 49ers, but like they're normally in the top tier running as well. So I, it's you know it's just a down little a down little stint. But to say the NFC as a whole is trash, I think they, we might have some teams that surprise you by it. I think we might, but um, we're gonna have to see because again, I just I just want to make sure I had that on record. To always be certain. Yeah, absolutely. I've got another time. But uh, no, I appreciate it, Byron. Thank you for definitely coming on to the show, my boy. Did you have anything you want to say before we close up shop? Nah, man. I hope y'all have a great Labor Day weekend. Enjoy y'all day off and things like that. Y'all be blessed. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That's a dope shirt you got, by the way, my boy. It's a dope shirt you got there, by the way. But I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed that. We just covered the NFC. Uh, we also got some uh, wide receiver debate as well, AFC discussion, a whole bunch of NFL. Because again. We all, it's called Get a Bucket, but we talk about football and other sports as well. So I hope you all enjoyed it. So please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone, anyone about the show. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. Oh, I did not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here, Pip.